In today's tech video, we are going to do a review of this digital photo frame here. This is the Aura Cooper digital photo frame. Well, thanks for checking out this video, guys. I just want to uh, share my thoughts on this particular digital photo frame that I have recently bought. And I think that it's a fantastic purchase uh, for those of you guys who are in the digital uh, photo frame market uh, looking to buy one, I really recommend this brand right here. I did a lot of research on photo frames and I found this one to be the best one out there on the market. And I'm going to share my reasons why. So first off, let's go ahead and uh, talk about some of the specifics of this mat here. This is the 10.1 inch frame. Uh, if you measure from there to there, it's 10.1 inches. It's a good size. So, I mean, take a look at my hand here on it. Um, so it kind of gives you a little bit of a sizing with this thing. But it's a great frame as far as clarity goes. This is a high definition screen. And I'm in kind of, I'm in the basement area right now, but this is a... Uh, it can be a little bit darker and it can be a little bit lighter in my basement. I'm above a window up above, but I never have any troubles seeing the images, whether it's light or dark, of course. Of course, you're going to see it better in the dark time. But even when a, a well-lit room, you can see these pictures really well. <clears throat> now, I did opt for this particular frame here because it does have that mat around it. And then they call that the gravel finish on the top. Um, it does, they do have another color, I believe, which is more of a lighter gray up, up at the top here, uh, along with that matte. But um, I wanted the matte just because it looks a little nicer. It almost looks like a photo frame that um, has the matte around it. The other great thing about this particular frame is the cord to plug this thing into the wall is pretty long. Um, you know, some of your devices, you always have to maybe get an extension cord to plug it in with. But this particular photo frame has a really long cord. It's a, a fabric cord also. I don't know if that matters to anybody. Makes it a little easier to maneuver around. Um, as far as the frame goes itself, there is a cheaper option out there than this one. It's this one here. This is the Aurora Carver. Um, it doesn't have that mat around it. Um, so that, that's just another option if you want to go a little bit cheaper. I'll link both of these in the description down below. But uh, yeah, as far as this one goes, let me show you how some of the details of this. As you can see, I got like a Disney picture on there right now. But say you are watching it um, and you want to kind of slide through it pretty quickly. All you do is you, you don't touch a screen at the very top here. It's like a touch pad. And then you swipe your finger across just like that. If you want to go back, swipe it back again just like so. So there's no touching of the screen itself. Uh, you have to touch the top of it. And then as far as the top goes, you, there is a tap feature that brings up, tells you where it was taken and the date, if your phone that you took it on has that information. Um, you can double tap it and then a heart will come up. So you can um, kind of favorite some photos, but also, it does have a, the live photo feature. So I took this with my iPhone. As you can see how it moved. And at the top left there, there is that live indicator saying that it is a live photo. So if you do take some live photos on your phone and, they, and you upload them here, they will show up like a live photo instead of just a, a static image. So that's kind of a nice little feature that they have here. Um, if you tap and hold, and not just tap, but if you tap and hold it, you can close this image or you can go over to exclude it or you can turn it off. Uh, those are just some of the touch controls that you have. So say you get a, you upload a picture on here and you don't want to see it anymore. You do that and then you'll just tap it again and then um, yeah, tap and hold. You just tap it again and then it would exclude it and it wouldn't show up on your photo frame anymore. Slide over there, tap, close, and then It'll continue on. Now, as far as the transitions go, the, you can do the minimum, I believe, is 15 seconds or maybe it's 10 seconds. I wanted to pop in here real quick because as I was editing this video, I wanted to give you guys the exact specifics of the uh, slideshow timing. And here on the screen are the exact intervals that you are able to select here. So you can see it has uh, 15 seconds, 30 seconds all the way up to 24 hours, which I don't know why you would want that, but maybe just uh, to have a picture, one picture every day. But these are different options that you are able to select with the slideshow timing. 
Also, when you're uploading photos to the app, you can decide whether you want the photos to shuffle or if you want them to go in a chronological order as the way that you upload them. Another nice feature that they offer is Photo Match, where they will display portraits side by side when possible, and Aurora will create moments of delight by pairing related photos, such as the same person, same event, and more. Uh, so what they'll do is, like, if you have a picture of yourself or a kid or somebody, it'll, if it's in portrait mode, where you're holding your phone up and down instead of horizontal landscape mode, it'll pair those two photos side by side. And also, whenever you do uh, upload photos that are in portrait mode, if they do display just one image like that, they'll blur the background instead of having a black background. So they'll give you the option to choose that also. So you can pick black or filled uh, to kind of blur out the background. So I kind of went for the filled look. I think that looks a little bit nicer. Another great feature with this is if you turn out the lights in your room, the display will go into dim mode and it'll automatically turn back on whenever it detects that light is in the room. Also with the app, it is a very easy to use. It's very user friendly. Um, I know some of these uh, tech devices can be, you know, a little bit difficult to uh, manage, but this one here was very easy to do and it was uploading it and it is a ma in a matter of minutes, your photos show on here. Now, one of the best features of why I think this mat or this digital photo frame is the best is it's all cloud storage. So when you upload your photos, it goes up to the cloud, down to the frame. And the reason I like that is it's not a subscription-based model. It's free. It comes with your frame. You don't have to pay an extra cost, and you can upload thousands of images to your photo frame. So that's a pretty nice little perk that they are offering. Um, also, you don't use an SD card. Some of these photo frames, you have to put an SD card, which is an extra step of loading images onto an SD card, then put it in your photo frame. This is all in the cloud, which I really, really like. Um, some of the other features is you can send the, like, I believe it's like an email or an invitation in the app to somebody and say you want to um, have a couple siblings that'll upload images to a photo frame that you give to a parent. Uh, they could do that on their app from their phone. They don't need to be near the frame. Uh, so you can be re remotely. And I think this is one of the best gifts to give to maybe a grandparent uh, because then you can just take an pre-upload the images to a frame and then gift it to them so that way when they hook it up to their wi-fi it's already got the images on there also you know after they have it for a few months say you do take some more pictures you can then upload those pictures to their frame you don't have to be near it you can do it all remotely so very very cool feature with this particular digital photo frame uh, they do have different sizes this is uh, the 10 point the 10.1 inch they do have a, a bigger one i believe it's like a 15 inch but uh, for a, your regular tabletop i think that this size here is plenty big enough and um, i think this is a a great gift item idea um, now i have one here i bought one this one here to give away as a gift and if you do want to give this thing away as a gift what you do is on the back side here you'll see on, a, on the top corner you pull that down and there's a QR code that you would scan and you would then get this thing set up to give away to somebody um, as a gift and they would have all the photos already preloaded and they just hook it up to their Wi-Fi. So it does it on all their frames, not just this Carver edition here. So yeah, this is the uh, look at this particular photo frame here. This is the mat. I think that um, this would be a good option if you were in the market to buy a digital photo frame. I give this one a two thumbs up on it. Hopefully this video was helpful in helping you decide if this is the frame for you. If it was, go ahead and click a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back in the next one. Take care.